What do you see when you close your eyes and think about Christmas? I see lots of colorful lights everywhere. I see, oh, hot cocoa with a little marshmallows. I see a tall tree, like every inch is decorated. I see Christmas cookies waiting to be eaten. I see a Christmas train going round and round, just loaded with gifts waiting to be opened on Christmas morning. So sorry, I got a little carried away there. Christmas can do that. It is such a special time of year, which is why this month we're hopping aboard our own kind of Christmas train, and it will be loaded with a true story about the best gift ever, Jesus. Yes, this month we're teaching preschoolers that Christmas is about when God gave us Jesus. So get ready, because the Christmas train is on the way and it's carrying the true story of Christmas. Week one, the Christmas train will bring in the first part of the Christmas story, when God sends an angel to tell Mary that she's going to have a baby but not just any baby. This baby is God's son, and his name is Jesus. Week two, the Christmas train will come back around with the most exciting part of the story. Jesus is born. We'll follow Mary and Joseph all the way to Bethlehem where Mary lays baby Jesus in a manger. Week three, we'll see several other people from the Christmas story ride in on the Christmas train. It's the shepherds. They go from being dirty outcasts in a field to worshiping the newborn Jesus. And after seeing Jesus, they don't hesitate to go and tell everyone the good news that God gave us Jesus. Week four, the Christmas train will bring in all the party things so we can have a huge birthday party for Jesus. And as we celebrate the good news that God gave us Jesus, we'll talk about the Christmas story again, from the angel and Mary all the way to the shepherds. Oh, and we'll sing happy birthday to Jesus, of course. We'll end the month, week five, when the Christmas train rolls in with the wise men. Now, the wise men didn't have a train to ride, but that didn't stop them from following a special star and traveling a very, very long way so they could worship the new king. Once they found him, the wise men laid their gifts before the very best gift, Jesus, God's son. We know that preschoolers will experience a lot of excitement and wonder during this time of year. We all do. But as they get older, and as we stop and take time to remember, we hope that the good news that God gave us Jesus will become the most wonderful part of the year.